Hello, my name is Professor Sir Terence Stevenson. I'm a Nuffield Professor of Child Health here at the Institute of Child Health at University College London and I'm a practicing paediatrician in London and I've been practicing paediatrics for almost 40 years and during that time I've spent a lot of time talking to parents and older children about vaccines, why they're so important and how they protect children against potentially really serious diseases. One of the questions I'm often asked by parents and carers is how can I make sure that my child is following the recommended vaccination schedule? Uh, every country in the world will have a vaccination schedule. They may differ slightly but covering from birth to the age of 18. And even though most parents and indeed most doctors and nurses and pharmacists uh, do a pretty good job of keeping children uh, up to date with their vaccines, none of us are perfect. We all forget things things crop up, they get in the way of the appointment and it's estimated that perhaps one in four preschool children are missing at least one vaccine from their, their nation's vaccination schedule. And we want to avoid that because uh, vaccines prevent really serious potentially lethal diseases. So how can you make sure your child's up to date? Number one, keep track, keep a record. In, in the United Kingdom we have a thing called a parent held record, it's a little red book. Uh, some countries that's uh, an online uh, electronic system, but if you don't have either of those, just write down when your child had their last vaccine, the date and which one it was, that's really important. Then you can keep track when you go for your appointment, somebody can see whether you're really up to date or not. Be aware, find out what your own country's national vaccination schedule is. And if you've not had a letter through the post or an email or a text or a reminder, then you're informed, you say, look, uh, my child's due this vaccine, I need to have it. Catch up. All of us have said, uh, none of us are perfect. We all miss things, things, life gets in the way. But if your child's missed a vaccine, it's never too late. We all, we, all countries have a catch up program. It's never too late to give any vaccine. If you've got any concerns about the recommended vaccination schedule in your country, contact your family doctor, we call them GPs in this country, or your paediatrician. Speak to them, air your concerns, they will take those concerns seriously and hopefully they can uh, reassure you about the safety of vaccines and talk about any genuine concerns you have about potential side effects or problems and help you see that the vaccination program is really beneficial for your child. And finally, in that spirit, make use of all the tools available. Yes, people like me, we are here to help, but particularly after the pandemic, I understand it can be hard to get to see doctors. There's a long waiting list. So use the internet, provided you're using reliable sources. For example, in my country, uh, sort of authority would be the Royal College of Pediatrics and Child Health, or in other countries you might have a um, communicable disease surveillance unit or something called a health protection agency or a health safety agency. These government bodies are giving clear authoritative advice. Be very careful of the internet where people are just, it's just their opinion because often that is really misguided and misinformed. But use all the information available. Use, listen to podcasts, watch documentaries, get leaflets, download information, um, provided you know the source of that information and you know that they are a reliable source in which to advise you. So thank you for listening.